that we found the perfect model of God. But of the party, always looking for functionality. We run them through the most extensive testing to ensure maximum quality and durability. Alright, <laughs> future minions, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed my pre-recorded message. Let's see how well you take direction. Come meet me in the minimization prep room so we can all get started. Please stay in your row and move forward filling in all the available space in front of you. And so help me! Do not put on your minion goggles yet. Don't delay. This is going to be really fun. For me, you will all be great minions, I can tell. You want to know who is my favorite minion? You are. Well, you soon will be. Remember, no goggles yet. Don't want to test me on this one, believe me. So, you are all here because you want to work for me. I usually take this time to interview new recruits one at a time, but I'm working on something really big today. So I'm going to have to do this kind of quick. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Gru. What's your name? Where are you from? Wow, that might be impressive. Question, question, question. And thank you. Anywho, uh, one moment. Mm -hmm. This is good. But tell the Fario, add more dynamite. I want a bigger boom. You didn't hear that. Anyway, yes, you will be turned into minions. Months ago, my chief scientist, Dr. Navarro, <laughs> created a device that could turn everyday boring civilians like you into minions. At first, there were a few minor snags, and a few major snags. Although, I kind of like that guy, and that guy. Oh, I love that guy. That guy really knows how to party. Don't worry, we have finally worked out all of the kinks, as far as you know, and now you too can become a minion! Wow, look at that! I know, right? It's pretty spectacular! This one. Before we begin your training, we need to do a routine body scan. Can't have you bring in any human germs into the lab. It's nothing serious. Just some high density lasers. They're very, very powerful. It will not hurt me a bit. Uh oh, we have a problem. It appears that some of you have not showered in like a week. Gross! Not naming names, but it's those guys! Look 
lucky for you, I'm in a bit of a time crunch and I'm feeling jealous. But you better shower when you get back to your hotel. And don't go right to the pool. As for the rest of you, if anyone's thinking of backing out, I warn you, I will hit you with my fart gun. Oh yes, I'm packing the store at the payoff. What will it be? Minions or farts? Minions or farts? Ignore them. Shoot you with a fart gun. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's gonna smell like fart. Hey, it smells like banana. Banana? 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 Oh, come on. Uh, Gru, I was wondering if I could give you something. Oh, sure, sweetie, but can it wait? I'm, I'm really behind schedule, and I, I have to train these guys. Oh, can we help? What? Yeah, we can train them. Mm, come on. Let me know. I do not think so. Please. No, no, it's very technical. Come on, we've seen you do it hundreds of times. Yeah, it's not like it's rocket science or even fourth grade science. Yeah, a trained monkey could do it. All right. Okay, future minions, the girls are going to handle your training. You people are so doomed. Oh, don't listen to her. Although, she's usually right. Good luck, everyone. But, but, girl, wait. He's gone, Agnes. It's the anniversary of the day he adopted us. Do you think he forgot? Of course not. It'll be okay, Agnes. Come on. We have a job to do. Let's do this! Okay, everybody. See you in the lab. This is gonna be good. Stay in your row and quickly move down to the last seat. Each pod seats four guests per row. Do not put on your minion goggles until told to do so by a lab assistant. Let's go, people! <laughs>
what's this? I need you a present. It's a little squashed and burnt. It's absolutely perfect. And I made you girls a little something too. Chris is up first. He's going to do a chart topping single by Pitbull. Oh, Here's your Hit it. Help me out, everybody. Everybody. Hey. We got to go. One, two, three. Hey, 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 Dance, 
Dance hashtag. All right, nice job, buddy. This is very exciting, guys. In a few minutes, we're gonna go head to head in a high speed, action packed race through New York City. You're gonna see it all. You're gonna see Times Square, the Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building. But before we start, I have to tell you about some very important safety precautions. But I don't want to talk about them. That's boring. I want to rap about them. Do you know what I'm saying, Trey? Yeah, Jimmy, I think you're saying you want me to rap the race through New York safety precautions. That's right, Roots. Give me a beat. If you're pregnant or your blood pressure's abnormal, I'm sorry. This simply isn't a suitable ride for you. Other people were been able to allow permission and over the doctor's back, neck, or heart conditions. You better start to listen. It's risky business if you're prone to dizziness or any type of motion sickness. No video and photos and corners over social is allowed. I hope I'm speaking loud and clear enough to get this. You definitely should sit this one out. I have to say to you, if you have recent surgery or a condition that's aggravated by this race intervention, it's unsafe if you enter. Refraining is the simplest way to avoid being injured. If you're lucky enough to be allowed to take this ride, your arms, legs, hands, and hands must remain inside. Not to mention your feet. And keep you loose all of the safety store beneath the seat. Sorry, who are you? I'm Sarah, and in case you're wondering, it's S A R A with no H, because H's are A. This is my lame stepdad, Gara. And if you're wondering, that's G A R A. Ew, Gara, no one's wondering how to start a dog. Guys, guys, you're not supposed to be here yet. The rest of the audience is still outside waiting to come in. Ow, fine. Let's get out of here. Gara, time for the gift shop. All right, Sarah, but you're only getting one souvenir. Ew! I want a t-shirt, I want a mug, I want a house on the panda doll, I want a basketball of Popeyes. All right, let's just go. Can't you the flippity flop? I love Popeyes! I know you do. I love Popeyes. All right, guys, this is it. We're about to start. I'm going to go backstage and hop in the Tonight Rider. We're going to take a quick break while you head into the studio. I'm going to see you in a bit. Woo! Hashtag the panda. Hashtag 
Doug, why are you on top of the Empire State Building? And why are you 300 feet tall? No, hashtag, let them go. No, bad panda. Thank you, no writing music, please. Thank you, the moon, for turning regular old dirt into moon dust. Autobahn! The space train! Space train? I've heard about this. Once completed, it will be the first ever roller coaster from the moon to the earth. Wait, once completed? <laughs>
what, 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 Roman Pierce. What? Roman Pierce. What? FBI, don't move. What? Yeah. That's right, party's over. No. You know how long I took to iron this shirt, man? I'm, I'm not. You're under arrest right now. Ladies, just, just back up a little bit. Got it. It's lightweight. First of all, I don't work for you. Oh, really? Well, tell me, Roman, who do you work for? We don't work for nobody. Guaranteeing my safety, I'm the one holding the gun. Yeah, but mine's a whole lot of guns. Let's go, Cookie Puss. Got an ugly suit on, man. It's cheap. There's somebody out there really a pissed off shot. It's gonna get ugly fast. Yeah, don't worry. Lucky for you, our whole family will protect you. Are you kidding me, Roman? You didn't shut off your phone, bro? I gotta call you back. I'm just, I'm in the middle. See what I'm talking about? Call you back. Man. It was on vibrate. Sean traced us. Hops can't hold forever. Letty, Roman, we're up. Driver, move that vehicle. Yeah. It's about to get real.
you want to get out of here? And then they're going to choose it. This is where we make all the wonder and imagination that fuels our park. Hurry, put on these light vests. Krusty, is this a nuclear reactor? Oh. What do you know about nuclear energy, kid? Leave that to us clowns. Oh, uh, Mr. Krusty, sir, the reactor is terribly dangerous with the linkages and the crackages. Observe. <laughs> oh, the growing... <laughs> now, if a human being were to enter that room, who knows what events might occur you late. They could grow 50 feet tall. Or three extra arms, or an eye where their nose should be, which is painful. Hey, Nerdenheimer, don't you have a test tube to polish? Yes, I, I do, actually, but you denied my request for test tube polish. I've been using rainwater at my shirt tail. To... Get out of here! Here we are at the vehicle boarding station. I'm sorry, sir. People with heart conditions may not ride. Why, I'm in the best seat I've ever... Oh, heart attack! Been in my life! I feel like a 20 stroke hero! Man. Master Man, you're a dumb! I'll wait outside. Oh, you can watch me? Oh, where? You can enjoy each other's You don't say! Well, back in my day, people never had to go to one another while I was. Now, Maggie, looks like I'll be taking care of. I'm gonna keep this on my head. I said, Maggie, stay with Grandpa. <laughs> wow, we're the first people to ever ride this baby. We're like that space guy who did that moon thing. Neil Armstrong? No, Chewbacca! Oh. Now enjoy the Ferris wheel, or whatever this is. What do you want? A dish best served cold. Is it ice cream? No, revenge! Go! <laughs> You're on vacation. Can't you kill me on a work day? Simpsons, get in that ride. Forget it, Bob. We'll never... Dad! I waited in line an hour for this thing, and I'm riding it. Now, hop in! <laughs> now, the last thing you'll ever see. A legally required safety video. Ah! Here are some brief guidelines to ensure a safe and pleasant experience. When the doors open, move immediately into the vehicle boarding station. Walk, don't run. Take your seats in an orderly fashion, and please watch your head as you enter the vehicle. If you have difficulty dealing with small spaces, Make the Krusty crew member aware of this before entering the vehicle. Once you're seated, please pull down on the lap bar. Please remain seated and face forward while the vehicle is in motion. Keep your arms and legs clear of the closing doors and inside the vehicle at all times. No still or motion picture photography of any kind is allowed. Thanks for your attention. Enjoy the ride. I've taken over every area of the park. There's no place you'll be safe from me. And now, enjoy a ride that's about to be demolished while you're riding it. Ooh, a roller coaster. I'm scared, Dad. Sweetie, they won't kill you in an amusement park as long as you have a dime left in your pocket. There's nothing you can do. You're about to die. You sound like my doctor. <laughs> ah, my next victims. So anyway, where are you all? No. Oh. Well, not only are you not killing us, I'm having fun. Only they said to stay seated. Oh, that's a load of... Oh. Ah! I always get sick flying backwards. Hey, I can see our car. Ah! You got to 
haven't seen a giant steel ball, have you? <laughs> oh, 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 get on, angry ball! We're both big and round and never finished high school! <laughs> A fate worse than death. A kitty ride. At least we're safe. And I beg to differ. You got off. Say we. Alone at last. But I'm trying to kill the kids. It just gets better and better. <laughs> Now, Hunter, because I want to be fair, a piece of advice. Resist every temptation I place in front of you. Oh, beer! Homer, it's a temptation! Why did beer hurt anybody? for the last time. Oh. You sold your pants for the last time? <laughs> we'll save you! Onward, convenient whale! Hey, that exit sign leads to an exit! Oh. Oh. Stay away from the ramp! the unkindest cut of all! <laughs> 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 Boy, they grow up so fast! <laughs> Shut up, hard, tourists! Do not be hurt, a bird is here! I'll give you back your pants of fire if you destroy Springfield! <laughs> Sweet. Oh! 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 Your ride is about to begin. Please remain seated until the very end of the ride. You all still believe this ride is not a secret alien trap, right? 
Now, I've just received an urgent message from E.T.'s teacher, Montanicus, calling for E.T. to come home right away. You see, a big problem has developed three million light years away on E.T.'s home world, the green planet. E.T.'s friends are in danger because their planet is dying. Remember what E.T.'s friends look like because it's going to be up to you to help E.T. find them once we get them home. And there's not a moment to lose because only E.T.'s magic healing touch can save his friends and bring his planet back to health. E.T. must go home and only you can help him. Amen. Ah, E.T. Trouble. That's right, E.T. So why don't you show these people how we're going to get you back to the green planet? You and E.T. will be making your three million light year journey on these bikes, but don't worry, you don't have to pedal. But you will need an interplanetary passport. So before you leave E.T., tell your first name to one of our assistants, and they'll give you your pass. Oh. Now when E.T. is ready to go. So good luck, everyone. And remember, E.T. is counting on you, and so am I. Oh. It's up to you to save this planet so that he may visit us again. Be on the left side. Oh, thank you.
go. Pedal fast, man. Here we go.
Nobody cares. <laughs> Except that guy. Hey, Dad. Howie! Howie! I'm having a bad day, guys. I'm still going to do the show. It's just weird. I was walking and I tripped and I landed on one of those Harry Potter kids. <laughs> Cause a scene, but that's really starting to burn. Owie, owie. Hey, man, please help me. Come on. I need your help. I'm dying. I'm doing the baby hand gesture. You have to. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming up so quickly. I need, I need mouth to mouth. Are you, checking us? Oh, are you here with him? Oh, that'd be a long drive home. I get it. That's fine. It's an interactive show, but that's fine. You just sit there. You got a front row seat for my dad. <laughs> you cold-hearted tourist. Yeah. <laughs> March ends, everybody. Buddy, put it in the back row. Like the pleasure, like Alex said, I'm a makeup artist. Literally, it's my job to gross you out, freak you out, scare the sh poo poo out of you. Thanks for catching that. Uh, fun fact: Universal really created the modern day horror film. That's right. I brought a clip of some of my favorite moments. <laughs> Universal's legacy of <laughs> this stuff's really awesome. It's also pretty intense. So if you're easily grossed out, you might want to close your eyes. Ooh, but let your kids watch. <laughs> <laughs> That, that, the one you meant talking about, oh, that case, he's been talking about this project it's be for really months. Cool, guys. so cool. Wait, wait, wait. No. wait why? I Not yet. Wait. But I, I've been waiting for this for months. No, it's going to be like a big finale. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't finish. I, don't even look at it. Okay. Don't even think about it. I'm just going to distract you. Yeah. Alex, go out in the crowd. Okay. Find me a lovely woman uh -huh. whose family doesn't need her anymore. <laughs> we call it volunteer. There you go. It's all the marketing. Okay, so we need a volunteer. We need someone who's who's fun, someone adventurous, someone who won't be missed just in case, you know, the whole project doesn't work out. Um, actually, folks, I'm looking for somebody. They don't even know why they're here. Maybe they wandered in. Maybe they thought this was a ride. They're going, hey, when's that lap bar going to come down? Or where's the, where's the Harry Potter thing? Does he fly through here? Someone perhaps like this young lady right here, folks. Here's your volunteer. Here's the It's shorter this way. That, okay, or you can go that way too. Oh, yeah, she's freeling. That's okay. Well, well, we're already here. Oh, 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 oh. She's so happy. I know. Thank you so much for volunteering. I really appreciate that. This is this is going to be wonderful and life changing in ways that I don't even know. Uh, come on, right on up here. I'll get the camera right here. I'm going to have you stand right over here in front of the cart, right over the trap door. That's perfect. Hey, I'm Alex. You are. I'm uh, Hayen. Hayen? Yeah. Hayen? Hi, hi, yeah. Hannah, Hannah, okay, all right, Hannah, uh, well, I'm Alex, and this is Mark, right Hannah, here. it's a pleasure, good to meet you. No! Oh, oh, Hannah. Hannah. <laughs> so strong, nice grip. You work out, I get it, here's my real name. My mom gave you this one. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah, where are you from? Uh, yeah. Oh, Hannah from Virginia. Right. Virginia's in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys want a picture? A little photo shoot? Yeah. Oh, here we go. I love Virginia. I got yes. going on your fridge. Yes. Yes. I think he's sending a tweet. Boom, there it is. Awesome. Hannah, so what's your story? You married, got a boyfriend, single, it's complicated. What's up? <laughs> complicated, I like that. <laughs> is this your husband here? Oh, how long have you been married? Oh, that long. 
That's a good start. All right. So we got some parts here your luck to build you an Orlando man. Yeah. Hold your hands out like this. We'll get you started, Anna. There you go. You're already holding hands. How sweet. You're going to have to put your man together like Ikea. Just bloodier. No instructions. Two, three, four. A total of five hands. So that is a lot more fun than that guy. <laughs> we got a foot too so you can kick his bubble. Oh, I don't know if the lights did something, but does that smell terrible? Get in there. Enjoy it. Oh, she's been initiated. Nice. Bring her to the limb table. Okay, I'm going to get the butt out of the fridge. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Hannah, just take these and just uh, dump them on top of the others. Yeah, just you got a pile. That would be great. Mm -hmm. I am so sorry, Hannah. That was all hard. I can't He's believe you. He's very childish and immature. Unbelievable. Hannah, you're going to be my assistant. You just have to stand up here and look at me like you don't trust me. That's believable. <laughs> you do the hard part. Roll up your left sleeve. Some of you might be out there wondering, hey, Mark, where do you get all these extra body parts and limbs from? Today I'll be showing you. Come here, Alex. No, no, no. no. I saw the star like this and get some else. Hannah. 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 Oh, Hannah, I'm not going to cut you with this large machete. That would be crazy. I'm going to cut you with this much smaller, sharper knife. There we go. Come on down. It's okay. You can, you can trust me. I'm dressed like a doctor. You got this. Are you nervous? A little bit? Yeah, me too. I don't even work here. <laughs> Sunny side up, that's perfect. Squeeze your hand, get the blood flowing. Oh, yeah. Nice. I was going to keep it for a tourniquet, but that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. And cut your arm off for their enjoyment. Not going to lie, it's going to hurt like a mother. <laughs> it won't, it won't. We just want to convince everybody it hurts. So what I need from you, Hannah, is your loud scream. Your best horror movie scream. Ready? One, two, three. It's like you sat on a cold toilet seat. You're shocked a little bit. This time, like, really let it out. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. 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 You want me to cut a kid? No. <laughs> like an appetizer? Like no, no, you gotta, you gotta talk to him first. Ah, uh, makes so talk. much more sense. You can relax, Hannah. Kids, listen up. <laughs> All the blades you see, they're completely dulled down. Some of them are dull. Some of them are plastic. Some of them are dull and plastic, like the Kardashians. <laughs> True story. All the gags are done by trained professionals, and when we're not drinking, we're very professional at what we do. So don't try this at home, buddy. <laughs> try it at your friend's house. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Grandma's. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, Pat, let's get the camera on this one. There we go. All right, go. Hannah. Mm -hmm. All right, don't forget Great to scream. Down. A scar is born. One, two, three, scream! Hannah! Oh, 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 oh. She's the bleeder! <laughs> Is that supposed to happen? Totally normal. Really? Not even close. What, what do we do? Take a picture. Oh, it's video. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, Hannah, oh. this. Oh, yeah, Hannah. Yeah. Look at it, Hannah. Let's oh. <laughs> for Hannah. She was great. We'll be fine after therapy. Clean this up, tell you all about it. As you can imagine, this is a lot of fun around Thanksgiving. <laughs> this gag is originally developed by Tom Savini, makeup effects man behind the original Dawn of the Dead. Place the knife over the arm. Begin to cut. The blade it slides into place. <gasps> Blood bolt is hidden behind the handle. The gag is completely fake, and Hannah's on hard ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. You're fantastic. You're the hero of your family. Wow. Dude, you, you, you make a mess, man. You must oh, have a yeah. messy job in Hollywood. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. nothing, though. You wouldn't believe it when we're on set. We'll go through buckets of blood. You got a bucket of blood. Who here has seen Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho? Night of the Living Day, great mm -hmm. films. Built in black and white, so they use chocolate syrup. Mm -hmm. For color films, we need red, vibrant-looking blood. Yep. So I like to squeeze mine fresh. 
Where'd you get the heart? Amazon Prime. <laughs> Free shipping. Fill it up a big blood and let the fun begin. Now, what about blood? Where does that come from? Yeah, you can buy it. It get pretty expensive, though, Alex. I like to just make my own. You make it? Yeah. Secret so recipe? No. Tell me how you do it. All you need is a quart of corn syrup. Grab a pretty peanut butter, some red and blue food coloring. You gotta be super uber careful. Hi. Remember me? I was dying and you wouldn't save me? Sucks to be you right now. You're right. Yeah, you're right. man. Just your guest. Dry yourself off. No, get away from that. Stop that. <laughs> there you go. That's $39.95. Welcome to Orlando. Hey. So uh, Universal has an amazing history of the makeup artist through all of its films. Yeah, Tell us about that. It all starts in the 1920s with makeup pioneer Blonde Shape. Known as the man of a thousand faces. He created all of his own makeup for many classic Universal films, Phantom of the Opera, and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Juan was truly a genius actor, suffered for his art form in order to bring these twisted characters to life. In The Hunchback, he wore a 20-pound rubber hump and a harness that contorted his body so he couldn't stand upright while filming. We can only guess how he achieved so many amazing transformations. Very protective of his techniques, told no one about it, not even his own son, Lon Chaney Jr. But the Phantom of the Opera, well, it starts horror craze. Paves the way for makeup genius Jack Pierce in the 1930s. He was the creative force behind so many memorable universal monsters, such as the Wolfman, the Mummy, Bride of Frankenstein, Lady Gaga, Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Jack worked day and night to bring these creations to life, would often visit morgues to experiment on real corpses. Here's Kanye West looking for someone who likes him. The Frankenstein monster made with a hefty combination of rubber, plastic, or tissues, wax, toxic grease paint, covered his entire body. The process would take over four hours to complete, to adhere to the extensive layers upon layers of makeup, bandages, and mud, which was applied directly to Boris Karloff's entire body to turn him into the mummy. Of course, Universal had some other, well, not so memorable monsters. Who could forget the big brain creature from this island Earth? Come with me, Earth woman. Wait, I'm gonna pitch that butt. <laughs> and in 1968, John Chambers changes the industry forever. He used foam latex in the original Planet of the Apes. And the real historical significance... <laughs> What do you mean again? You're about to get snoozed for 30 days. Does that hurt? Explain yourself. <laughs> you peeking? Uh -uh. You need to peek around? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. I'm seeing red right now. What happened? Um, I, uh, was, I was fixing the curtain. Oh. Yeah. Why? Because something hit it. Your hands? <laughs> no. A rock. <laughs> yeah. where, where would a rock come from? Huh? Yeah, where would a rock come from? We're inside. It's pretty weird. That kid. Is <laughs> <laughs> the bird just chillaxing? Yeah, well, he's, he's chillaxing right now, but like a minute ago, he's like, he leans over. And I'm like, man, why don't I watch Transformers? We could ride in that thing now that it's cool. All of a sudden, he pulls his rock out of his pocket. He's like, oh, this could be awesome. And I look at him and I say, don't you do that, young man. And he just looks back at me and he says, shut up, y'all. I live how I want. Huh? And then he did this. It's like some gang symbol. It's a gang symbol. Come on, Yo, dog, what up? <laughs> you really threw a rock at the curtain? No. no. Kid took a dramatic pause and was like, no. <laughs> Kids lie. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true buddy. What's your name? Noah. Noah, biblical name, throwing rocks, good start. <laughs> uh, where are you from? California. California, the plot thickens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Noah from California. How old are you? 11? 13. 13? Well, <laughs> I don't have kids. You could be 34. I wouldn't know you. <laughs> For the rest of the show, though, you're watching him. 
be watching you like a hawk from California. <laughs> like a dying pterodactyl or something. Don't smile. Don't laugh. This isn't Disney. I don't have to be nice to the kids. Here. Okay, Mark. Mark. <laughs> <He's sorry. laughs> That's okay. Be the mature one. Are, are you okay, man? I took a pill I found. Oh, <laughs> no, that, don't, don't ever do that. Just, yeah, go, go back to what you were talking about. That was good. I forgot what I was talking about. Talking. You, you were talking about apes and Playtex. <laughs> Playtex? What, huh? You just said Playtex and had all these people. I said Playtex. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. <laughs> Those cover different monsters. monsters. <laughs> yes, yes. Talking Playtex, everybody. Different ways to rip creatures to life. Use a lot of practical makeup effects, including latex, when working on the most recent version of The Mummy, sponsored by Playtex. Beginning in pre-production, though, makeup designers, they first create a series of conceptual drawings. In some cases, painting directly over existing photos of Sofia Butella, who played the mummy in the film. Now, from these drawings, though, sculpts are created, used as a reference to build latex appliances that are glued directly to her face including tiny individual runes, runic symbols, which were applied by tweezers. Process can take up to four hours to complete. That's just from the neck up. After that, they create these cool large silk clone appliances with ink-infused glue embedded into them to produce the thousands of runic symbols necessary to cover her entire body in the film. It was so impressive, people just fell down. <laughs> As you can see here, six highly caffeinated makeup artists. They were sponsored by Starbucks that day. <laughs> really working around the clock to get the makeup right, Sophie and her stun double went through this process dozens of times during filming. Their hard work pays off on the big screen. Check it out. She's about to come in like a wrecking ball. I love this part. Whee! Catch me. <laughs> makeup artists, though, they're always going to pull for makeup artists of the past. People like Jack Pierce. Lon Chaney, my hero growing up, Rick Baker. Rick Baker, I know that, uh, you know, you've been talking about him for years. He's gotten more Oscars than any of the makeup artists, right? Yeah, he's won seven, nominated 11 times, which is unheard of in the industry. Mm -hmm. Really left his mark with films you know and love, like Men in Black, Men in Grinch, uh, Harry and the Hendersons, and Wood with Johnny Depp, that's yeah. a good one. Uh -huh. This is a clip, though, from his very first win. Kids, can you tell me what movie this is? E.T. E.T., huh? Yeah, there's E.T. <laughs> he's back and he's constipated. You know? I heard this about the very good world in London. It won not just Rick Baker's first, won the very first Academy Award ever given out for makeup effects for turning actor David Naughton into one of the housewives from New Jersey. Wow, that's <laughs> impressive. Was very it? realistic. In that scene, his face, it's like stretching and growing there. He's, that's gotta be more than like the latex he should right now. <laughs> you got actor David Naughton in the foam latex makeup. Next two stages, Rick Baker built these mechanical heads called Changeo heads. Lucky to have these two from the film. Pretty cool, right? First, he would fashion a fiberglass under structure. Okay. Sort of like a mechanical skull. Then he would create a series of latex masks to go over that. Wow. Excuse me. <laughs> These here, they run and operate on a series of pneumatics. Air pressure does this. Yeah, simple okay. air pressure. The air pressure really stretches the latex, makes the face change shapes. Huh? You got porcelain dental appliances. The face was hand painted for detail. Glycerin was added to give it that sweat look. Then they top it off with real human hair. Where do you get that from? California. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> Market. There we go. Are we still using this sort of thing in movies now? Still a huge part of bringing creatures to life. Nowadays, though, we use a lot of visual effects as well. I actually have one last clip to show you guys. All right, Pat, let's roll it. Sometimes mechanical or traditional makeup it can limit a filmmaker by time or budget. So we use computers to bring our monsters to life. Placeholders called animatics are created before shooting starts to give the feeling of movement or positioning that a finished creature will show. For instance, in The Mummy, digital effects team captured actor Sophie Vitella's body, as well as facial features, mm. so that a digital artist could morph, shift, change her facial reactions, her movement, her performance, all in real time. Both the practical as well as visual artists, though, they do need to refer to the original design. <laughs> Everything still relies on basic makeup techniques so that the finished effect is flawless. Computer effects are an amazing tool, but combine it with practical makeup. An amazing story, great directing, great acting, and well, nightmares really do come true. <laughs> All right, Mark James, everybody! Hey, uh, Pat's in the only got two minutes left. You gotta see this. I'm gonna need your help on this, Alex. All right.
cool. I've been waiting all day for this. You do. I need you to put on this high voltage vest. That's okay. This low voltage vest. You said high voltage. I got it from the hot topic. Okay, those things are taped together. It's gonna look cool. You so said you were too. Go get someone else. else. Absolutely. Come on, this way. It's quicker. You know what, Hannah? You're such a good sport for coming back here again. Universal's going to give you and your entire family a fully paid three-day cruise. Brochure. Got to check that fine print. There you go, Hannah. Just slide in here. It's the best not a press play, but I like that. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And then you can help with that glove. Grab a camera. We'll take a picture. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, you're fine, Hannah. There we are. Have you ever seen the movie The Green Mile? The Green Mile, Tom Hanks? No? It was a romantic comedy, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> this is a sophisticated type of creature controller. Ergonomic goniokinetic telemetric input device. What? Yeah, Google it, it's weird. You got sensors on your head, your hand, your vest. When you move, nice move, Santa. The creature behind the curtain's gonna move. Yeah. Pretty weird, right? You just put your hands by your side. You're doing great. You just face this way. Awesome. Can I get a drum roll, please? Yeah, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for my creation. <laughs> wow. Wait, that's for a children's show? <laughs> yeah. It's for the last episode of Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Eddie sings this really cool song, goes, Uno, dos, tres, I'm going to eat your face. <laughs> it's a musical. Dora dies. Oh. Yeah, I'm going dark for a second. Spoiler. Hannah, I'm still working on some of the bugs in this system, okay? When I turn on the power, you may, for a couple seconds, feel slight. What's the technical star again? Yeah, like a... <laughs> <laughs> we'll be laughing. You won't. You won't even remember that part. When you wake up in Virginia, your pants will be wet. Let's get a text for that now. Okay, hey, hey, All right, Hannah, smile. Yay. It's for the insurance company. Yay. Here we are. I'm just going to calibrate the best, turn the power on, make sure it resets to neutral. What was that? That's normal. I don't know. That happens sometimes. The lights, the lights, I've never seen the flash. Yeah, that. Okay. <laughs> Please don't explode. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's working. Cool. Yeah, you can go up and down. Yeah. Bend at the elbow, too. Check it out. Boom, boom. Nice. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You, you like big butts? <laughs> All right. Pack your bags, we're moving to Virginia. Okay. This is a new start for me. Wave to the kids. He'd say, hey kids. Hey Noah from California. I'm Eddie, I live under your bed. God, why is it bed? Check your closet. Put <laughs> your hand over your stomach. You just gotta find your stomach. <laughs> your stomach? I don't know, trick question, I feel you. There you go, do a little bow for the crowd. He did great, just like that. Yeah, right back up. A little awkward, I can dig it. Yeah, and then come right back up. Place your hand by your side. You did a great job. Turn the power down. What do you guys think of my telemetry? Oh, that is so cool. Hey, thank you, Mark, for bringing that in. Thank you, Hannah, for being a lot braver. And I'm never going to be here. Before you run away, I want to give you a picture of you and somebody you should never, ever stand next to again for the rest of your life. How about you, Brian?
<laughs> I'm fine too, thanks for asking. All right, let's have a break.
Remember, Titan Warrior. Anything is possible when you have inner peace.
flowing river. Come with us now to a time before man, when the river flowed through a newborn world and giants walked the earth. Welcome to Jurassic Park. as Parasomolophus. These enormous beasts, this is like Jurassic Park Animal Patrol. Animal Patrol. It looks like one of the hadrosaurs has knocked your boat off course. course. You are entering the raptor containment area. Please, stay seated. We'll grab your boat in the receiving dock ahead. Not me
back to the bugle and... Uh -oh.
what's up guys it's Ben from Theme Park Groupie thanks for watching our video of the day at Universal Orlando Resort from home I absolutely miss this place I'm sure you guys do too that's why you're here watching this with us if you are able to watch five minutes or a couple hours thank you so much for sticking around go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos like this one if you guys did like this video go ahead and like comment and share with a friend thanks for watching Theme Park Groupie